Welcome to Formation of Ordinary Differential Equations, Part 2. Example 1. Suppose we have y equals to ax squared plus bx plus 2. In this primitive equation, we have two essential constants, a and b. Therefore, we are required to differentiate it two times. Let's start. dy over dx. When we differentiate x squared, we get 2x. 2x times a, it will be 2ax. When we differentiate x, we get 1. 1 times b will be equal to b. Then 2 is a constant. The derivative of a constant is always equal to 0 d squared y over dx squared when you differentiate x we get 1 1 times 2a we have 2a b is a constant the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0 now let's make a the subject of the formula in this equation so we have a equals to d squared y over dx squared can be written as y double prime divide by 2. Since we have the value of a, we can substitute it in this equation for us to get the value of b. So we have y prime for dy over dx equals to 2 times a, but a is y double prime over 2 times x plus b. Correct. So 2 and 2 will cancel. We have y prime equals to y double prime times x plus b. So b is equal to y prime minus x y double prime. Now, since we have the values of a and b, we can substitute these values in our original primitive equation for us to get the required ordinary differential equation. So that will be y equals to a. A, we have it here. So we have y double prime over 2 times x squared plus b, we have it as y prime minus x, y double prime times x plus 2. Now, we can multiply all the terms by 2 so that we remove this from the denominator. We have 2y equals to y double prime x squared plus 2x into y prime minus x y double prime plus 4. 2y equals to y double prime x squared Let's expand this. We have plus 2xy prime minus 2x squared y double prime plus 4. Let's take all these terms to this other side. So we have, let's start with the term with y double prime. So we have 2 x squared y double prime which is this one then this one will be minus y double prime x squared let's take this one minus 2 x y prime then of course plus this one plus 2 y again minus this equals to 0 2 x squared y double prime minus y double prime x squared is the same as x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. And this is the required ordinary differential equation associated with this primitive equation. Example 2. Suppose we have y equals to 
y squared equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. In this primitive equation, we have three essential constants, a, b, and c. Therefore, we are required to differentiate it three times. However, we have y squared over here. From implicit differentiation, whenever we differentiate y squared, we should attach dy over dx. So let's start. When we differentiate y squared, we get 2y, but again, we need to attach dy over dx. When we differentiate x squared, we get 2x times a. It becomes 2ax. When we differentiate x, we get 1. 1 times b is b. c is a constant. The derivative of a constant is always 0. For us to differentiate this term, we need to apply product rule. So let's differentiate 2y, keeping dy over dx as a constant. When we differentiate 2y, we get 2, but again, we need to attach dy over dx, keeping dy over dx as a constant, plus let's keep 2y as a constant, differentiating dy over dx, we get d squared y over dx squared, equals 2. When we differentiate x, we get 1. 1 times 2a, we get 2a. The derivative of a constant is 0. Now let's differentiate it for the last time. 2 is a constant here, so we can factor it out. We say 2 into, let's differentiate this term, keeping this term constant. So we get d squared y over dx squared, dy over dx, plus let's keep this one constant differentiating this we have dy over dx d squared y over dx squared plus let's differentiate 2y keeping this constant when we differentiate 2y we get 2 but again we need to attach dy over dx here we have d squared y over dx squared plus let's keep 2y as a constant Differentiating this term, so we have 2y d cubed y over dx cubed equals to 0 because this one is a constant. Now, we can divide all through by 2. So we have d squared y over dx squared dy over dx plus d squared y over dx squared dy over dx plus d squared y over dx squared dy over dx plus y d cubed y over dx cubed equals to zero. These three terms are the same. Therefore, we can add them. We get three d squared y over dx squared dy over dx plus y d cubed y over dx cubed equals to zero. And this is the required ODE or ordinary differential equation associated with this primitive equation. Example 3, y equals to a cos 8x plus b sine 8x. In this primitive equation, we have two essential constants, a and b. Therefore, we are required to differentiate it two times. Remember, the derivative of cosine is always negative of sine. And the derivative of sine is always positive of cosine. So let's start dy over dx equals 2. We differentiate cosine, we get negative of sine. Again, we need to differentiate the angle with respect to x. So we get 8. So it becomes minus sine 8x. When we differentiate sine, we get positive of cosine. Again, we need to differentiate the angle. So we get 8.
correct? Then the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared equals 2. When we differentiate sine, we get cosine. We need to differentiate the angle, we get 8. 8 times 8 will be 64. When we differentiate cosine, we get negative of sine. Again, we need to differentiate this angle. We get 8. 8 times 8 will be 64. Let's factor out 64, negative 64. Now, if you compare this component and this one over here, it is the same. Therefore, we can replace this with y. So we have we can take y to this other side. And this is the required ODE. Example 4. Suppose we have y equals to ax plus b. Now in this primitive equation we have two essential constants a and b. Therefore we are required to differentiate it two times. So let's start. When we differentiate x, we get 1. 1 times a is a. b is a constant. And the derivative of a constant is always 0. So d squared y over dx squared equals 2. When we differentiate a, because it's a constant, we get 0. So this is the required ODE. Example 5. Show that the differential equation associated with y equals to a exponential x plus b is d squared y over dx squared equals to dy over dx. In this question, we are required to show that the differential equation associated with this primitive equation is indeed equal to this. Now, in this primitive equation, we have two essential constants, a and b. Therefore, we are required to differentiate it two times. Let's start. dy over dx will give us a exponential to the x. The derivative of b is 0 because b is a constant. d squared y over dx squared will again give us a exponential to the x. Let's make a the subject of the formula. So a is equal to d squared y over dx squared can be written as y double prime. Then we need to divide by exponential to the x, which can also be written as times exponential to the minus x. So this is the value of a. Since we have the value of a, we can substitute it here. Now dy over dx equals to a, we have it as y double prime exponential to the minus x times exponential to the x. dy over dx will be equal to y double prime is the same as d squared y over dx squared exponential to the minus x times exponential to the x. We add the powers, we get exponential to the 0. And any number raised to power 0 is always equal to 1. So 1 times y double prime, we get y double prime. So indeed, we have shown here that the primitive equation y equals to a exponential x plus b 
gives us a differential equation d squared y over dx squared equals to dy over dx. Example 6. Suppose we have y equals to ax. So let's form the differential equation associated with this primitive. In this primitive equation, we only have one essential constant, a. So dy over dx will give us a. Since we have the value of a, we can make the substitution here. So we have y equals to x times a, but a is dy over dx. And this is the required ordinary differential equation.